MS is an inflammatory disease that affects the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. As a result, people with MS can suffer from fatigue, reduced mobility and being in constant pain. The cause of MS is still not clear and there is no cure. I recently met up with a lady called Shana who has MS and she was wonderful enough to let me ask her some questions. I had a lifetime, just my entire life, of loads and loads of problems and loads of diagnosis and lots of operations. I had a really full life um, and I was uh, dancing and singing and um, playing the piano and I ran a dance and drama school, I worked in television, lots of really fun things and lots of really active things. Um, and I increasingly became disabled and I was very relieved when I finally got diagnosed when I was 28. Whilst obviously I really miss dancing and I really miss being able to play the piano, which I can't do anymore, my hands don't work properly and you know I do really miss those things but my life now is about political campaigning and public speaking, I do lots of advertising, lots of media, lots of uh, journalism work and you know I guess, I guess things have just adapted and changed again. <laughs> so yeah, lifetime of adapt and change. So I'm on medication for um, a whole range of things to do with MS. Um, one of them is a disease modifying drug um, and that's one that I started only about three months ago so I'm pretty hopeful that that will help prevent the number of relapses that I have each year. I normally have about two to three relapses, hopefully on this medication I'll have one, maybe two every year. I also have medication for fatigue, medication for spasticity both in my bladder and general spasticity and oh, a whole range of medication that I take every day. I use um, intermittent self-catheterization. Before I started using the catheters, I had really horrendous continence problems um, and we didn't know what it was so I was just being treated constantly with antibiotics for bladder infections. Um, I was really scared to, to travel, um, I was really scared to well, basically leave the house unless I knew where and when I was going to be near to a toilet. I remember teaching a class of five-year-olds and just having dreadful urgency and desperately needing to go to the toilet and I couldn't just leave a class of five-year-olds and by the time somebody had come to cover me I'd wet myself going to the toilet and you know I just remember so many instances where I would just suddenly need to use the toilet and, and wet myself and it was it was humiliating and I didn't I just couldn't understand what was going on and the doctors didn't understand why it was happening. When I got diagnosed and I got referred to the continence clinic, that was the point where my life really changed for the better because they were so reassuring at the continence clinic and they just, you know, they went, oh, you know, don't worry, come in, sit down, you know, we, we're gonna help you. We're gonna get to the bottom of this and we're going to help you. And they taught me to catheterize. When I first got referred to the continence clinic, I had absolutely no idea what was going to happen. I'd never heard about catheterization. I, I, I didn't know anything. Um, but I was just relieved that someone was going to help me or that someone was going to look into what was causing the problems with my bladder. Um, you know, I think with diagnosis after, you know, 28 years of living with problems, um, everything just suddenly clicked into place and going to the continence clinic was just another part of things clicking into place to help me. Um, I use the Collar Plus Speedy Cath Compact and I also use the Collar Plus Speedy Cath Compact set um, which is the, the fairly new one that's come out and both of them are fantastic. 
The Speedy Cath Compact um, is really small. It goes in my handbag. Um, it fits inside a little purse so that when I pull it out in public, nobody knows what it is that I'm, that I'm pulling out. Um, they're really easy to use. You can throw them away really discreetly and uh, they're, just, they're just really easy. The Speedy Cath Compact Set um, is a catheter with a bag attached. It means that if I go on a long journey in the car and I get stuck in a traffic jam, um, then I can catheterize uh, and just throw the bag away later. And that is fantastic because I'm disabled, I, I use a wheelchair and it's really difficult to um, you know, get out and find a bush, basically. So, um, you know, that's fantastic. Um, also means I can go to my friend's houses that don't have a downstairs toilet and just go into a quiet room and uh, give them the bag to dispose of. So that's great because before that I missed loads of parties. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. All the things that you know I do in my life now, all the travelling to London, to Parliament, and to Brussels and to conferences all over the world and none of those things would be possible if I hadn't learned to catheterise. I think one of the really um, life-changing things actually about the Speedy Cath Compact set has been that when I've relapsed and I've been really unable to get out of bed, it means that I can catheterise when I'm in bed and somebody else can go and dispose of it for me. Um, beforehand I was trying to uh, do really dangerous transfers onto a commode or um, transfer into a wheelchair and then transfer again onto the toilet and you know there was really quite a lot of times where that was really dangerous. So um, being able to uh, catheterise from the bed is um, brilliant and it means that I can drink loads of water without trying to monitor how many times I have to go to the toilet and you know that I think is really really important. I think my advice for people who've just been diagnosed with MS is that actually you need to have as much fun as you possibly can. Everybody should live for the day really but when you know that there's something so unpredictable that you're living with. Um, it can be difficult to make plans for next week or next month or you know next year when you don't necessarily know how you're going to be feeling or um, what's going to be happening with your body and for that very reason um, just try and make every day as much fun as you can. My main aim in life is to have as much fun as possible and for me that means um, having a really active work life um, and it also means having a really active social life and sometimes it can be difficult because a lot of venues aren't wheelchair accessible, um, people's houses aren't wheelchair accessible, it can actually take quite a lot of effort on my part and on the part of my friends to make sure that I can take part in things that are going on and that I can you know, go out and meet them and, and have fun. So, um, yeah, it does take some planning and it takes um, understanding of people around me, but it's really important and I'm really lucky and I'm really glad that my friends are so understanding and make the effort. If you have any questions that you want me to ask Shana, Leave them in the comments below or you can tweet us at coloplast underscore UK with the hashtag AskShana.